Belial the wicked ruler. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be unto this wicked generation. Matthew 12 45 Although all evil spirits are wicked, it is evident from this verse of Scripture that there are some spirits more wicked than others. According to the previous verse, there are also generations that are wicked because of the spirits that inhabit them. Webster defines wicked as morally very bad, evil, fierce, vicious, disposed to mischief, roguish, disgustingly unpleasant, vice, going beyond reasonable and predictable limits. In other words, there are demons more fierce, vicious and vile than others. One of the most wicked and vile spirits in the kingdom of darkness is the spirit of Belial. He is a ruling spirit of wickedness. There are a host of demons that operate under his command that we will discuss in this book. Belial is mentioned 27 times in the Old Testament and once in the New Testament. It is from the Hebrew word Belial which is translated as Belial 16 times in the Old Testament. This word is also translated in other verses as wicked, ungodly, and naughty. The Strong's definition of Belial is without profit, worthlessness, destruction, wickedness, evil, naughty. The most common of these definitions is worthlessness. Webster's definition of worthless is valueless, useless, contemptible, despicable, and despicable is defined as deserving to be despised, so worthless or obnoxious as to rouse moral indignation. Therefore, Belial's work is to cause men to commit sins that are so vile and contemptible that it rouses moral indignation. All sin is wrong and I don't make any excuses or allowances for any sin. However, there are some sins more abominable than others. That is, there are different degrees of sin. Under the law, there were some sins that were considered abominations and punishable by death, while other sins required certain sacrifices. Belial's work is to draw a nation into such abominable sins that it will bring the curse and the judgment of God. When I observe the practices and sins that are happening in our nation, I know that the spirit of Belial is behind them. Belial is a strong man in America as well as other nations of the world. Belial is a world ruler of wickedness. Jesus taught us the necessity of binding the strong man in order to spoil his goods, Matthew 12 29. As previously stated, this strong man has a list of demons at his disposal that he has released upon our society.